What's going on guys, I'm back to another video, and this one is me showing you how to make a mansion. This is probably my smallest mansion. This is the fifth installment of mansion, I believe. That's four right there, and also that one's probably better. Uh, this one's alright, it's not my favorite, it's not my least favorite, but this side gives me townhouse vibes. Uh, the townhouse over there, it's the suburban one, similar colors, except it's got sandstone as well. I actually was building this, and then I my friend came over so we could record the decoration dudes video, which that was insane. I'm gonna talk about that later. And here's the roof. Spaceship is a 58 by 34, which really is not that big considering that one's 72 blocks long. And the materials we're needing to start are stone bricks, smooth sandstone, white stained glass pans. Dark oak door. Sandstone blocks, normal sandstone. <clears throat> sandstone slabs. Smooth sandstone stairs. Stone brick stairs. And I guess that's it for now. You do also need dark oak stairs and planks. Starting with the font left hand corner of your 58 by 34 grid cough cough if you made them already lost. You want to count backwards by 11. And going right, you want to place 10 stone bricks. Sorry, make it 11, so add one. Bring it forwards two. Right by six. Forwards three. Right by twelve. And then you want to place two more stone bricks, but bring them up by one, and then place dark oak doors on top. And then you want to bring the bottom stone brick right by an additional thirteen. Then back three, right by six, back two, right four, back by seven, bring it backwards by one more, bring it up one, it's a dark oak door, and bring that bottom one backwards by seven. Sorry, eight. I'm gonna get every number one off, I promise. Bring it left by four then. Back two. Left by six. Backwards three. Left by thirteen. And then place a stone brick stair no, sorry, place a stone brick on top with a dark oak door. Then place your two stone bricks with your dark oak door again. Sorry, I'm going fast. And bring the bottom block left by 13. With stone bricks. Bring that forwards 3. Left by 6. Forwards 2. Left by 10. And then connect it forwards. That's the space you have. If you cut off that section and that section, it's actually symmetrical. So again, sorry if I'm going fast, but the front and back door should line up. So come to the right side where you have your door. And you want to come to the front right corner. Come backwards by four. And then move outwards by three. Bring that backwards with... Eight stone bricks. And then left by two. Place a stone brick stair on top of the middle stone brick, which should be in line with the door. And then place the stone brick stair outwards. Oh, I'm done. Dumb. Get rid of these doors and replace these two stone bricks that are sticking up with stone brick stairs. 
Place stone bricks, or I guess in front of them with dark oak doors on top. Bring these stone brick stairs outwards. There you go. Come to the front now, and I believe... Yeah, you want to kick these doors back as well. But you can leave these stone bricks. I believe. Yeah, you do. Count, come to the front left corner of this section, so the front section, and you want to count right by six. And then you want to place four stone bricks, one sandstone, and then a stone brick stair. Do that. Do the same thing at the right side, except going left, obviously. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four. Sandstone and then a stone brick stair. Connect your stone brick stairs together and bring your sandstones up a block. Then place moving inwards from both sandstones four stone brick stairs, one sandstone, whoops, and then you want to place four stone brick stairs in the middle connecting together. Now, bring up every single stone brick with an additional stone brick, except for obviously the ones in front of doors and stuff. And at a balcony or a porch like this, and also right there, you want to just fill in the center. So I'll start with this one. Basically, you just kind of want to do something like this. So you have this area, and then you just fill, fill it in. I have the hiccups or something, I don't know. Him at negative 2500. So basically that's a good view, and then obviously just all the stone bricks come up by one. So I'm gonna talk about the, um, Decoration Dudes video for a sec. 16 minutes. So that's crazy. Uh, but the, the topic was crazy. Basically, if you didn't see, uh, Spirit basically released a teaser of every single prop for the year. Well, most of them. They didn't have, I'm guessing it was only in stores because there's no online only. Like, there wasn't Flushing Zombie. But, we decided to make a video and pretty much analyze it, like, because I slowed it down. I really slowed it down. You go to 0.25 times speed, I can literally make it, like, one frame per two seconds. I can make it really slow, which is what I did. I didn't make it that slow, but I made it slow enough so you could pretty much see everything decently. Get a good half a second or a second end of each. Alright, once you've done that, this is what you should have. Take out your sandstone. And give me... Alright, so you want to bring each one of your sandstones up by 11. Which I believe is correct. Then connect them all together. And the little corners place sandstone. I did originally use stairs, but they look horrible because Bedrock decided that it'd be a good idea to make the stairs a different shade whenever you place them under something. It's, it's ugly. It's just terrible. Alright, take out your smooth sandstone. And inwards diagonally from the stone brick, so basically like this. And it basically, okay, the door, this door should also be kicked back a block, my bad. But basically the smooth sandstone kind of wants to be, like, at the level of the door, just like that. And it wants to go all the way around again, making sure that it's back diagonally from every single stone brick. So look at, like, see this side? Look at this as a line right here. Look at this as the line, and pretend like this isn't here. And then just go right through the door. So yeah. I'm gonna talk about the spirit thing again. Teaser makes me excited though. For whatever they have in store for the year. So you know, that's exciting. But. It is what it is. I guess. I don't know. Ha! How, how did that happen? But. Yeah. I don't want to talk about that stuff too much because I know not everybody's interested in it. That's a 
different topic for a different video, also known as Decoration Dudes, which has already happened. But yeah. It's crazy. Managed to make a 16 minute video out of, a, of, out of an 11 second clip. <laughs> Pretty crazy if you ask me. Alright, this is what you should have now. Thank you, Chinchillas. You want to bring your sandstones, your left and right pillars, you want to bring them backwards with white stained glass panes until they touch the smooth sandstone. At the front. Now at this little right balcony, I didn't even do it all. Good job, me. At the right side, over here, you're going to want to just kind of go around this balcony with white stained glass panes. Now, this is the fun part. Where to start? Where to start? I actually know exactly where it starts. Starting from the left side. The front left-hand corner. I guess as fun as you can possibly get it. Right here. You're going to want to go right and you want to place two smooth sandstone, two white stained glass pins, two smooth sandstone, two white stained glass pins, three smooth sandstone, ignoring all directions again. Actually, no, never mind. Two more moving forwards. Go right with one smooth sandstone, two white stained glass pins, three smooth sandstone, forwards with three, right by one, I think, yeah. Then place two white stained glass pins, three smooth sandstone, two white stained glass pins, three smooth sandstone, skip over the doors, three smooth sandstone, two white stained glass pins, three smooth sandstone, two white stained glass pins, very boring, two smooth sandstone, Move back with three, right with two, then two white stained glass pins, two smooth sandstone, back with two, right with one, then place two white stained glass pins, one smooth sandstone, move backwards with two, with two white stained glass pins, one smooth sandstone, two white stained glass pins, smooth sandstone, skip over the door, smooth sandstone, two white stained glass pins, smooth sandstone, Two white stained glass pins, smooth sandstone. Basically copy your front pattern onto the back, so two pins, f I guess five sandstone technically. Two pins, f three sandstone and then four and then three out or three back and left one. Two pins, three sandstone, two pins. Three sandstone, skip over the doors. Three sandstone, two pins. Three sandstone, two pins. Two sandstone, then place three moving inwards. Left with two. Two pins, two sandstone. God, it always throws me for a loop. Inwards with two, then r left with two. Two sandstone, two white stained glass pins. Two smooth sandstone. Two white stained glass pans and two smooth sandstone. The final side, the left one. Bring it inward or going forward, place a smooth sandstone. Two white stained glass pans. Seven smooth sandstone. Two white stained glass pans and a smooth sandstone. Alright, so I'm going to show you a quick look around. It's mostly just twos and threes. Or ones over here. But, uh, yeah. Copy that entire row two more times. And then, that's not the last of this that you'll see, I promise. I know, I do apologize. I'm going a little bit fast. Just a lot going on. And I don't want this to be 40, 50 minutes, because the... The Hello Neighbor House video yesterday, it took... I don't know how long it took to upload, but it said it failed to upload, which is lying. Every time it says that, well, it's every every once out of three time, uh, every one out of three videos, it doesn't say that it failed to upload. Oh yeah, just go over the doors with smooth sandstone also. So yeah, that happens. I don't know why. I think YouTube Studio has something to do with it. Let's blame YouTube Studio for it. YouTube just doesn't notify me for comments anymore. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I'm good. But I think because I have YouTube Studio. Because I get notified from that. 
on all of them. So I think YouTube's just like, yeah, you know, you already got notified about that. Plus, YouTube's slower, anyways. YouTube Studio seems to be pretty quick. If it, uh, sometimes I don't even get notified for comments, but I'll come across them or don't. <laughs> So tomorrow I'm bringing back a series that's been gone for like a month because I forgot that it even existed and I don't know why it happened, but it happened. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> Alright, this is where it's going to get complicated once we're done this because we're still not. Actually, never mind. We got one more easy step and then it gets into the more complex side. Once you've done that, this is what you should have. You want to place two rows of smooth sandstone on top of everything. So... So this isn't the last we're going to be doing of the, I guess, the multiple rows of sandstone. Well, no, it is. But... We need to place three rows on some parts, but some only want two. Which is why I'm doing it this way. It's just easier. Or harder, I honestly don't know. Also, if you do have any tutorial suggestions, let me know. I'm probably gonna... Right, I'm doing an interior next, because somebody wants me to do another interior. And then I'll probably do a store, and then I'll probably do a remake after the... Excluding houses and stuff. Because houses just get thrown in there. They're expected. Once you have done that, this is what you should have. Alright, so you want to take out your smooth sandstone... Okay, I'm going to wait, actually. Alright, so you want to take out your smooth sandstone stairs, and at the left section and the right section, you want to place an upside-down row of smooth stone sandstone stairs going all the way around them. And then it just wants to stop once it hits the walls that, like, pop out. Just like that. Overhead isn't really useful. So do that on the left and the right sections, as mentioned. And then things will get interesting from here. At the right section, you want to basically from... So for these four layers, I guess the three... So just to exclude the wall, the right wall. These three rows, you want to place smooth sandstone as the roof above. So up here. I know that was terrible, but whatever. So it can be one block short of the wall. It doesn't matter. Now you want to place a well smooth sandstone on top of all the remaining smooth sandstone that is not surrounded with the smooth sandstone stairs. So at the left, basically right here, it just wants to come back. You can bring it straight across the build. That is fine. It just wants to do that. And then obviously the same thing at the right. Just like that. So we basically just squared off our, squared off our build, even though it's not even a square. It's a... I don't know, it's a lot of sides. I think that's 12. And I have no idea what shape that is. Alright, so. Going around the build in the same fashion that we just did, except obviously taking off the two sides. So you're gonna place thanks for miss thanks for that, Mr. Squidward. He's made a noise. Two smooth sandstone, you probably didn't hear it though. Two white stained glass panes. Three smooth sandstone. With four is with three. Right with one. You're gonna place two white stained glass panes. Three smooth sandstone. Two white stained glass panes. Three smooth sandstone. Two white stained glass panes. Three smooth sandstone. One will never end. Two white stained glass panes. Oh hey, it's a wasp. Three smooth sandstone, two white stained glass panes outside though, two smooth sandstone, then move backwards with three, right with two, then place two white stained glass panes, two smooth sandstone, then you want to just go all the way to the back with smooth sandstone so the sides do not have any windows. You can add some if you'd like. Then place one smooth sandstone, two white stained glass panes, 
So he's been a sandstone. Move back by three. Left with one. Then place two white sand glass pins. Three smooth sandstone. 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 Two white sand glass pins. Two smooth sandstone. Move inwards with three. Left with two. Then place two white sand glass pins. Two smooth sandstone. Then connect forwards. Good lord, that's a lot. But there you go. Basically, the windows on the bottom are copied on the top, and where there's a door on the bottom, there's a window on the top. And then the sides are blank. Again, that side you add windows. Don't add windows on that side, though. Because if you notice the build, if you saw the build, then I have a roof there. You want to copy that entire row two more times. What should I talk about? I honestly don't know. Alright, since has got a new cage, I might make a video about it, but probably not. It'll go up on my Instagram. Does that count? I have to post it on the decoration dudes and scrum about the ridiculous sneak peek. It's not even a sneak peek, it's a teaser. But it, it is smart marketing. Especially since, uh, you know, everything that's going on right now in the world. Actually, just, just lots of things. Not a fun time right now, but that's okay. <clears throat> I just don't live in a big city. <laughs> That's as much as I'll say. And the Redskins are changing their team name. Probably Red Tails. Which... Definitely... I definitely think Redskins is better, but... I don't know. People like to make excuses. Once you have done that, this is what you should have. You want to place two rows of smooth sandstone on top of all of that. Our section is slowly just getting smaller. It's funny because we had <clears throat> the stone bricks, which was actually bigger, and then it got smaller for the first floor by one block on every side, but whatever. And then it got smaller again for the second floor on each side. But, you know. There is no third floor, so. You want to take out your sandstone. So come to the front. And at the top left and top right corners, you want to bring the sandstone back to the wall. And then place one in these corners here. Only at the front side. Don't do it at the back because it doesn't look good to me. It might look good to you, though. <coughs> Oh, you should place two rows of smooth sandstone on top of your windows. My bad. So you also do want to place a row of smooth sandstone on top of the normal sandstone. So everything should be level. If you didn't place the second row, then you should. That's probably why I finished so quick, because I didn't. There you go. <clears throat> you want to take out your smooth sandstone stairs. You want to place a row of upside on smooth sandstone stairs all around the entire build on the second floor. So that includes the stick out area there and that also obviously includes the main build. God, can, can I just break what I want to break for once? It's like if you like look at it right there, it goes, it just doesn't even look at the stair. Even though technically it's part of the hitbox. According to the shadow. It doesn't make sense, I don't know. So you want to fill in your roof here in with smooth sandstone. If you'd like, you can actually hang chains. Or you can actually hang lanterns on chains in this area. I think that'd be fun. Not fun, but good. Cool. Interesting. I don't know. So now you want to clear your inventory, and you still need a couple of those old materials. You will need smooth sandstone. 
White stained glass panes. I need to check this. Hang on. Dark oak stairs. Dark oak with planks. And also dark oak with slubs. So come to this left section here that does not have a roof currently. And you want to place on top of the smooth sandstone, you want to place going left. I want to say two dark oak wood stairs. Yeah, so two dark oak wood stairs. Six smooth sandstone. And then two dark oak wood stairs. Now ignore the stairs and let the smooth sandstone going left to right or right to left does not matter. Place a smooth sandstone. White stained glass pane. Two smooth sandstone. White stained glass pane and a smooth sandstone. Copy that row one more time. Place a row of smooth sandstone on top. Now come to the back of the building. You want to place a row of dark oak wood stairs on top of this back row of smooth sandstone. Just like that. Then at the left, you want to bring these stairs inwards with an upside down dark oak stair. Up with a dark oak plank. Up with a dark oak stair. Inwards with an upside down dark oak stair. Up with a dark oak plank. Then up with a dark oak wood stair. So, once you do that, the top dark oak stair should be basically right under this. Except obviously not, like, connected to the wall. Connect your two stairs together with dark oak wood planks. I know it's a flat edge and I don't like those, but it's kind of good for this situation. Also place dark oak wood stairs, upside down dark oak stairs in these corners here. Just to give it a better look. Now you want to bring this entire row, except for the upside down, left by one. Except for the upside down stairs. I didn't get that out properly for some reason. Now you want to bring your top two rows of smooth sandstone backwards by one. On both sides. You wanna, you, now you want to take the two rows here on the right and you basically want to follow the pattern that is on the left. And then once you reach the dark oak stairs you want to bring them all the way across at the top. Just like that. And then fill in the entire back side of this in with its obviously respective materials and such. My explaining's really bad today and I don't know why. I wasn't prepared for this. It's cause, well not, I guess some of it's cause most of this mansion I built and then I took like an hour and a half break and then I came back to it. But still that doesn't explain my horrible explanation skills today. Today in particular, just today, but I have no idea. Also, the Hello Neighbor video from a day ago already has 400 watch minutes. That is ridiculous, and I don't understand how. It's an average of roughly five minutes per viewer, and it's got 84 views, which is ridiculous, and I want to thank you for that. So on top of your smooth sandstone, you want to place a row of dark oak wood slabs right here, still in the same section. Fill in the middle, and bring it outwards on each side by a row. There's that. Come to the left side and you want to fill it in with smooth sandstone. Obviously a row in though. So we, just a row in from the dark oak. So technically it's two rows in from the wall. This makes it look alright. It's not the best, not the worst though. Oh yeah, you also do need smooth sandstone slabs again. Or no, normal sandstone slabs. Don't get smooth sandstone unless you want to, you can. So at these four, at the eight windows that are on the first and second story at the left and right segments that are... The the, the furthest sec sections to the left and the right that are two stories tall. And they are the same. And they're on front back as well. Basic, so see these two? On all corners you want to place... Four upside down sandstone slabs below the window and four above it. 
extending out either side by one. And at the left and the right, you want to place white stained glass panes connecting. There you go. That's what you should have. So do that on all eight windows. I'm sorry. I forgot about that. At least I remembered. Also, the mansion almost has 3,000 views. Not the mansion, the museum. Somebody's trying to build that in survival, which is great. Two hours. They said that two hours in the nether gives gets them two rows, which is rough. But <laughs> you win some and you lose some. Does Bailey have to bark 24/7? That is literally the second time she's just gone off during this video. You might not be able to hear it because my mic, but or my headset is all right, and it's also do a closed door. But whatever, she's still annoying. Classic. Just barking. We got our bark collar for that exact reason. Because she barks at everything. Anything and everything. Once you've done that, this is what you should have. Pretty much your build is complete now. We just have one step and the biggest step. I'm going to stop the timer. Stop the timer. I stopped. I'm too lazy to do it myself, so I asked Siri to do it. So on top of the row of smooth sandstone, inwards from the upside on smooth sandstone stairs, you want to place a row of dark oak wood stairs. Now, at the front where the the big porch balcony thing is, you want to just cut it off. Just ignore this and just go straight across. Also, is it, uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. This kind of reminds me of the... I don't even know if it's in my mansion playlist. If it is, then this makes it six. But it reminds me of the brick mansion that has, like, the really tall... It's got, like, the two-story porch, just like this one, except it's got a point to it. Once you've done that place, you'll have dark oak wood planks inwards from that. Hey, my townhouses. Oh, yeah, the only townhouse that has detail in the back. <laughs> You see, I add detail on the back only when I have to. Oh, this house, I guess I did. Because I like making my mansion symmetrical for some reason, and I don't know why. And then place a row of dark oak wood stairs up diagonally from that. And then keep doing that pattern until... Until the left and right sides only have, like, a one block gap in between two stairs. And then you just want to fill in your entire roof with dark oak wood planks. You'll see what I mean, hopefully, if I stop messing up. Classic again. I want to premiere a video soon. I think that'd be fun to do. What would I premiere? I have no idea. Probably like a 20 minute video or a survival video. That'd be a good one. I don't know why. But then I'd have to listen to myself talk. Well, technically I wouldn't because I could just have the volume off. But I'd obviously have to be on the thing. Because I don't want it to be like a 40 minute video like this one. Because I don't feel like sitting watching my own premiere for 40 minutes straight. You have to do it from computer though, which sucks. So I'd probably have to, I don't know, email myself a video or something. I could use a flash drive, but I don't know where we have one. No, I'd probably have to use a flash drive. I asked about that a while ago. Do we have a flash drive? But nobody knows. So I guess that's a mystery for another day. I just go out to the store and buy one. It's not that hard. It's not that expensive either. I could buy like. I don't know, probably, what are they, $3? That's probably over, it's probably over, probably like $3 for like a pack of six. <laughs> I could buy like 500 of them if I wanted to. I don't know why I would, but I could. <laughs> it's like, what are you here to buy today? 500 flash drives. 
It's like walks into the no walks into like one of those stores. It's like, hey, how many flash drives do you have? Oh, we've got about 480 in stock. I'll have all of them. Could you imagine just going to a store and just buying all of the flash drives they have? That'd be funny. Also, I gotta go to Home Depot soonish. Maybe I'll wait till they have Halloween up. So I might get an animatronic from there if they have anything good. Because of actually for Halloween reasons, it doesn't. Maybe I should do it now since it's summer because it's just better that way. You probably don't know. You probably don't know what I'm on about, but that's a secret for a different day. I love that. Whenever you try to place it like there and it, okay, didn't decide to do it that time. Like those weird like corners, like this one. See, I'm trying to place it right there. And watch this. Okay, I did it that time, of course. I see. I see how it is. Okay, this side. Oh, now you're... I see. I see how you are, Bedrock. Okay. That's awkward. So, like, see right here where you have three rows available and then the dark oak stairs will take up two of them? Which means you only have one row available directly in the center. Once you hit that point, the rest of your roof just wants to be filled in with dark oak wood planks after you place these stairs. Just like this. So this is your final row. Congratulations. So yeah, this is what you should have and you want to fill it in with uh, dark oak planks. For some reason, I see a face in there. Not like a face. I just see like a block with arms. But I can imagine a face. If I try hard enough, I can. Alright, I'm gonna double check because I have a good thing with um, missing things during tutorials. But I believe once you have done that... Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, let me show you the inside space first. Here's your inside space. Wow, that actually looks really cool. I like that. But once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your mansion. Complete another one. If you've built all of them, then congratulations. Not as many as the modern houses, though. Because, you know, that's a whole different level. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.